this week's garden update. Miss Piggy's going to show us her garden here. She has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Must leave me alone. Ten or eleven um, pumpkin or gourd, whatever these are. are in here and she's got it still blooming so yeah she makes me feel really stupid see here look here she got ones on top of each other she's got them everywhere look at that just everywhere 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 now down to the other garden so you can see that this is wonderful compared to mine there's Miss Piggy over there. She's checking to see what I fussed with. <laughs> okay, so um, I just figured I'd do a quick garden update. Um, I'm not really in a better mood. Just trying to get there. Trying to get back to being me. Trying to get life back in order. The goats got in here. Can you see? There are onions down in here. Um, they're right here. I just have to get in here and see all that that's all onions um i just have to get in here and clean out all the weeds so the onions are there i just gotta get in there and get them taken care of and then i still have a few little tomatoes coming in the plants themselves are dying but the tomatoes are growing so i don't know what the deal is um the strawberries like i said after um the uh what do you call it they quit producing i'm going to move them to the other strawberry bed but they still seem to be producing and i just don't want to move them i'm afraid i'll put them in shock i don't know so we just keep coming down to get the few that are out here and then we're gonna get that taken care of uh this the tea is still in there i haven't harvested it all it's getting late in the season and because i didn't harvest all of it it's going to be, you know, pretty bare looking. Um, also, I'll have to get in there and get the rest of it. I started it and then I got called away. and So, lots of weeds. The um, spinach, and I know this sounds terrible, but I really love the color of that leaf that's gone, you know, fallish. Um, anyway, but this right here, I'm hoping that it'll retain its shape. I don't know. They say that it's a self-sewing one, so I'm hoping that the um, vine will stay where I'm training it to go and then I don't have to start over next year. Because I've also got these two right here that as soon as it gets up high enough, you know, it's going to go over there and go up the TP too. So, um, same with this one. The goat's chopped off its little head. But, um, see, and these are coming out. And so I just keep training them. To go where I want. I'm hoping that the vine will stay. We'll see. <sighs> vine City. I started to work some on this side. You can see that I've gotten all that taken care of. I still have some melons out there. Um, they didn't seem ripe when I first came through. So I stopped. This one still seems a little green. That one maybe probably is ripe. It looks white. Oh, here's another one over here and it's definitely right so i have the melons that i'm pretty sure are done but all these yellow flowers that are everywhere are leafy and so far i haven't gotten any lufa but boy the pollinators are sure at work everything seems to love these lufa gourd flowers so um I'm going to get out here and see. I started to work on this side and then found more melons and all that kind of stuff. And so I'm going to get back out here and try and get this under control. Um, I have to figure out if all these flowers are going to make gourds. Because if you remember, I'm not snipping off anything that's making gourds. So i got to get back down here and this has started to grow with the rain again. So I like to see the flowers because that's what makes the gourds, but so far I haven't seen a whole lot of gourds 
actually being produced. I look out here and there's always yellow flowers. But, well, and here we go. There's a little gourd right there. But hopefully they will grow. I really would like them to grow and get bigger than that. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much cleared out. There's another, oh, now I'm starting to see a little gourd there. So, looks like there's a couple on there, but I'm still waiting to see if I can get some of any decent size. Um, it's been flowering all summer, I guess, in the heat of the summer. I'm doing much better out here. I've cleared this out, and the only thing is here that's right here. Now, there is a, a tomato cage, but the tomato has long since died out of that. But there's, this is just a, a heap of loofah gourd. So, um, I'm keeping it off the lemon, or at least trying to. Um, and just kind of keeping it away from taking over everything. And yes, I literally do that just about every day. This one, rest in peace. This is doing really good. Um, I'm happy with how it's doing, so I should have it next year. These I've cleared out. They had in, um, summer squash and that in them. There's another one in here that's cleared out. I just can't get it out of there. So, yep, yeah, this is just a mountain of loofah gourd. And I'm going to come back through here and trim it all back and just keep it nice and short in this little mountain. Um, like I said, I was hoping to get some decent sized gourds. There's a tomato cage. No tomato in there. It's been taken over and killed out by loofah. So, but uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But I do have a trellis system in mind for um, next year. Alright, so down here is the other strawberry bed. And it is doing pretty good. Um, for a little bit I thought I was going to lose this plant. But it turned out that we didn't. We kind of came down here weeded everything, revived everything, um, redid some of the dirt levels, and this end down here is now coming back, so I'm okay with that. I still got to get in here and pull some more weeds, but these things are definitely okay for now, so I haven't killed them out. Yay! So, anyway, other than that, the fruit trees are just they're pretty much starting to lose leaves, change color, you know. Um, there's a bird nest up in there. Not a very good one, but hey. Um, locusts seem to be everywhere. But we've had a few bagworm issues. This tree is going to get clipped back quite a bit this year because it is way too big and not producing any fruit. Well, it did produce a few fruit <laughs> and as you can tell they're really tiny and just not you couldn't even see them in the leaves and there's like I think I counted seven of them there's like three here four five oh I've lost some but anyway they're just six Let's see here look at that and they're they're real hard they're not so I'm gonna clip it back and see if we can't get it producing because it's putting on way too much foliage to even produce anything but little dinky things and it's really tall too so um yeah if you remember in february we're going to come in here and top these guys so that is good for me because then i don't have to fuss with how much you know i'm trying to reach them so anyway but I think that's really all All I'm doing is pulling loofah gourd vines back. Started to work those. I'm going to get those other um, melons out of here. And then um, just let this loofah do its thing. Because it will be the last thing out here. And we'll 
people see it produces tons of flowers I just can't get it to produce fruits or if I am you know oh actually I'm looking at one and didn't even realize it two holy cow that they are producing okay okay so this right here is a gourd and as you can see there are all kinds of bugs in here but look at this here's a good one oh now I'm told you can eat these loofah gourds when they're young like that I want them to grow big because I am going to actually use them for loofahs in my soap so I'm gonna let them go crazy so we have two woohoo hopefully they'll keep growing keep doing um, and they're supposed to grow until the first frost so yeah now I'm starting to look where are some more where are some more if you look up at the top though look at all these pollinators that love these things there's wasps there's um, mud daubers there's I don't even know what there's moths there are I don't know what those black things are they're like blue metallic looking there's a red wasp um, they're just going crazy for this loofah gourd stuff now this is one of the reasons that we um, garden further away from the house because there's a lovely little wasp um, wasps seem to like the um, pear trees as well so we tend to keep that stuff away from the house cat is over there and he bets he thinks he's got a mouse but it's a um, cricket or a bug I don't know but anyway after this I am just going to let this little loofah garden go I'll get those melons out of there and then the only thing that should be left here is the loofah and <clears throat> I'm just going to let it go I still have some pumpkin um, vines in here but I haven't found any pumpkin so or, well we did we harvested a couple of pumpkin like I got three pumpkins okay all that pumpkin vine and I had like three but I haven't found any down in here so and they were all up there by the melons so I'm really thinking that they're pretty much gone um, but I don't know because see here this is also pumpkin vine or not pumpkin vine <laughs> watermelon vine so um, I'm not even going to worry about clipping it back I'm just gonna start um, get the melons out of there and then I want to clip that side back and then this right here just keep it from going any further and see what it does I really just want to see what it does see look there's a moth look at that or a butterfly I don't know but these pollinators there's a little dinky bee there's a big carpenter or bumblebee I don't know which is which um, but these pollinators love <laughs> this loofah gourd. I mean, absolutely going crazy for it. So, I'm okay with that. Let's see, there's another bee right there. And yes, you can get this close to them. Um, because we're out in the country, we don't, um, things aren't scare. I mean, we're not a threat to them. And they know it. We just kind of live amongst them trying to get you another there's grasshoppers there's butterflies just that one butterfly is just going from flower to flower there's bumblebee over there or carpenter bee I'm not sure what carpenter bees do but I am gonna come back out here and trim this there's another loofah oh my goodness oh sorry Mr. B looky there looky there there's one right there okay so it is producing I'm happy with that but I'm going to get out here and cut these vines and just keep this big mound right here and see what we have in that big mound over there. And then next year I have a plan for the other, um, for the next way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to have big vine city. So anyway, all right. Yeah. I don't even know what that thing is. Oops, sorry. I don't even know what that is, but obviously it likes the loofah gourd too because it's in here. So, yeah. I'm just, now I'm kind of curious and trying to dig, see if there's any in there, you know. Do I see big ones or do I see leaves? It's like a mystery scavenger hunt. 
All right, so let me get off of here. That's your quick update for today. Just, and there's Toby out there. Just been an off week. Just can't seem to get myself together. Holy cow, there's two. Okay, so that's what Lufa Gourds look like. <laughs> now, because I'm going to let them grow, I will wait until the stems on these turn brown. And what that will do is it will be around the first frost and then these will turn into gourds. So, I mean, they're gourds now. You can actually eat them when they're young. So, um, that one over there is doing good. So, I've got four or five. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'd rather have, you know, 15, 20, 100. No. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. I will let you off here and I will talk to y'all tomorrow.